Welcome to Demo 10. In Demo 10 we're going to be looking at IF functions and we're also going to be looking at something called conditional formatting. You know, sometimes the bottom line changes of things and the IF functions and the conditional formatting help us to give a visual look as to what's going on and things for us to watch. So it's a good bottom line and we're setting up criteria. We're doing testing. So in E7, I'm going to start with an if statement. Equal if. So there is the function and notice what it says. Perform a test, a logic test. If the test is true, do something and show it here. If the test is false, do something else and show it there. So this is a true-false scenario and, and the logic test has to be true or false. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the change in D7 and I'm going to check to see if it's greater than 0. That's all I care about. Is that number greater than 0? Now if it's true, if it is greater than 0, I'm just going to type in a word and notice if I'm typing in a word I have to use quotation marks. That would be what I would that's what I want to show up if it's a true statement, if the test is true. If the test is false, then I'm going to have it show the word watch. In other words, I'll be putting this airline on my watch list. Let's hit the enter key. And since this is a true statement, 0.2 percent, 1.2 percent is greater than zero, the true part of the statement came up. So let's, oh, we have an error here, so let's fix those when we get all the way down. I'll show you what that error here is in the moment. So let's drag, just like we can do with any other equation and copy, and just go down a little ways to see if it works, and there we go. Nice. Greater than zero, okay. Less than zero, watch, okay, watch, watch, okay. So it's working. So let's keep going down to the bottom, United Airlines, and there is our watch list right there. Now this error statement that showed up, we're going to look at that here. Let's get over. I'm going to highlight all of those. Look at that error statement. And it says this is an unprotected formula. Well, that's okay. We don't need to protect or lock this cell in. So we'll just ignore the error and notice all the error statements go away. If you ever have an error statement, check out to see what it is and then you can erase it after the fact. So that's what's known as an if statement. If condition. Check a cell, see if it's greater than zero. Check a cell to see if it's greater than another cell. Check a cell to see if the sum is greater than something. You can do whatever kind of checking or test you want. And then if the test is true, what am I going to do? It doesn't have to be a word. It could be another problem. You know, I, I could put in something times something here. Or if it's false, this is what I'm going to do if it's false. So that's what an if statement is. We'll do another one of these in a future demo here. Now I'm going to do this a little different and I'm going to set up a conditional formatting using this up here, this conditional formatting box in the styles on the home ribbon. So let's select D7 through D24 and I'm going to set up my conditional formatting. Pull that down and what do we get? Highlight based on a rule. Top bottom rules. In other words, find the top 10, find the bottom 10. Data bar rules. Color scales. Icons. You can do a whole bunch of different things. We won't get into these. These get a little more advanced work. We're just going to start and work with the highlight cell rules. If it's greater than and we'll type in 0. If it's greater than 0, this is what I want you to do. Color it green with a dark green text. Then you hit OK. Let's do it again. 
Now let's look at, well, if it's less than zero, I want it to be red with a dark red text. So you can very easily set up a visual of the ones that you're concerned about. Notice all the red ones are our watch because they're less than zero. And you can set up a nice criteria based upon just the numbers and it becomes a visual criteria instead of using the words over here. We get a visual criteria of color that can help us out in setting up those particular ones. So color visuals versus if statements working off of a true or false for a condition that you set up.